criticised at work, if you've felt like you've disappointed people, perhaps you've been dismissed at work. So you've been let go, you've been made redundant, you've been fired. Either way, there's been this criticism for your work, there's been disappointment that you've created. That can be absolutely devastating. It can be gutting, in fact. It can be degrading, uh, defeating, all those D words there. But I'm here to tell you that there is opportunity in those experiences. There is something that can be gained when it feels so traumatic and so horrible. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot to be said about the side effects of these experiences in terms of depression, anxiety, trauma, mental health. There can be so many things that are a side effect of these experiences. What I want to share with you is some things that I've learned through my experience of this, what others have shared from, with me, and some things that you can do in those mo moments because it can be overwhelming. It can feel like it's consumed your whole world and your whole day. And I want to let you know and affirm for you that there is hope for these experiences. So first things first, it's really important when you have these experiences that you detach from the position of work. Now it's very easy when you are your business or you've put your life into a job or you've been there for a long time, but ultimately you are a tool, a vessel or a vehicle for a delivery of service or to achieve a particular outcome. So to give you an example, when I deliver workshops for people, I provide feedback forms. It is inevitable that there's always going to be one or two that are less than favorable. It's really difficult to, to have the approval of 100% of the people 100% of the time. It's great to have that, but you know what? In all honesty, it doesn't allow for you to grow and improve because you're getting no feedback on what you can do better or differently. So negative feedback does not need to be a bad thing. It can be useful. But what I want to share with you, what's important about that is that I personally am not necessarily being criticized. It's my methodology of presenting or it's the information that I'm presenting or it's the way that I've presented the information or it's the quality of the content that I'm making available to people. It is those things specifically. It's not me, the person, necessarily that's being criticized. It's rare that people get really, really personable like that. It's the work, it's the business side of things. And so you've got to recognize and detach from the criticism that you're receiving in that moment. It's about you as the worker, not you as the person, and try not to take that feedback personally. And if you can detach from that, it enables you to be more objective and more mindful about what's going on. It's a good opportunity to reflect on what's important to you. And this is the next step. This is to get clear on what it is that creates joy in your world and joy in your life. Where is the joy? If it is all about money and work, that, that leaves little room for other things. I'm not saying that that can't be the way it is, and if that is the truth for you, then great. This is an opportunity to see that you're on the wrong path. You're misaligned. Do something different. Be something different. Learn. But there are so many other things that bring us joy, meaning and purpose in our lives. And it can be for our well-being. It can be our relationships. It can be where we live. It can be the work that we're actually doing. Look at what it is that you place value on in your world. What sparks joy? what brings you pleasure, what is rewarding and satisfying and gratifying for you. The other thing you'll need to think about is how you assert yourself. Now, I don't mean how you be confident or how you can be confrontational or aggressive. Asserting yourself is about clearly communicating your wants and needs and how you can communicate that with the confidence that you can manage the outcomes. It's not that you necessarily have to be confident in that moment, but if you can communicate your wants and needs in a situation, then 
you should be able to have the skills to be able to deal with the outcomes, whatever they can, they will be. And in doing that, it's important that you are honest and truthful. We just know that when you lie to cover things up because you're scared of the consequences or what the outcome, it's only going to make things worse. It never ever ends up being a fruitful situation. Now I'm not saying that you have to tell everybody everything, it's just that the information that you do communicate with people needs to have an element of truth in it. Yeah, look, you can, can consolidate what information you communicate with people, but there has to be integrity and authenticity in that. If you want people to respect you, then you need to respect them in that relationship as well. And lastly, the greatest gift in this experience, when you see it, when you can truly see it, is the lessons that have learned. What did this experience teach you? What did it tell you? Once you've been able to detach from the emotion of that experience, actually stop and go, what did this tell me about myself? What did it tell me about what I need to learn? What could I do differently? What can I change? What worked? What didn't work? How did I communicate? How can I communicate more effectively? All of those things will really help you moving forward and you'll be surprised at the growth that you can receive if you take on board those lessons rather than burying the pain and the grief. Detach from that and then stop to reflect. Look at the situation objectively to gain the most amount of benefit from it. I really look forward to hearing from you your experiences, have there been times when you've been heavily criticised, you've really let people down and disappointed them, or maybe you've been sacked, dismissed, or made redundant. What did you learn from those experiences? What could you do differently? I'd really love to hear your thoughts and comments on this, so please comment below.